Amanda from the Boca Raton Public Library. We're going to do a story time today about dinosaurs. You ready to have some fun? Let's go! Now, let's do a song called One Little Finger. Get your finger up. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your head, head. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your nose, nose. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your chin, chin. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your arm, arm. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your leg, leg. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your foot, foot. Put it on your leg, leg. Put it on your arm, arm. Put it on your chin, chin. Put it on your nose, nose. Put it on your head, head. Now let's wave goodbye, goodbye. Let's read a story called Dinosaurs Galore. This is written by Giles Andrea and illustrated by David Wojtovich. And we're reading it with permission by Penguin Random House. Let's get started. As the sun lights the horizon and the mist begins to clear, what shapes do you begin to see? What noises do you hear? Perhaps you'll see a swishing tail, huge footprints, or a beak. I think I heard a dinosaur roar. And did you hear that shriek? Some of them have huge long necks and some have giant jaws. So let's go to the swampland and meet the dinosaurs. Are you ready to meet some dinosaurs? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, look at how big he is and look at those teeth. I'm big and strong and scary, but I'm very pleased to meet you because my giant gaping jaws would really like to eat you. Look at those teeth. This one is Ankylosaurus. I've got armor on the top of me and tough skin underneath. So if you try to eat me up, you'll really hurt your teeth. Velociraptor. When I see a tasty herd of little dinosaurs, I catch a few for supper with my giant pointy claws. He does have pointy claws. Look at those. This is a Microraptor. I'm as little as a chicken, but please don't be too hasty. Although I may be chicken sized, I'm nowhere near as tasty. Ooh, look at this big one. This one is called the Plotticus. I'm not the quickest thinker because my brain is very small. But who needs to be clever 
when you're 35 feet tall. Look at how tall he is. He's as tall as that tree. Whew. Ooh, look at this spot, guy. Spinosaurus. I'm sure you can see the big sail on my back. That's pretty neat. I use it for storing up heat. It's also quite handy for making new friends because everyone says it looks neat. Does anybody know what this one's called? This is Triceratops. I'm the Triceratops. How do you do? I've got these three horns on my head. See, one, two, three. They're useful for keeping my enemies back, but they're not very comfy in bed. This one is called Supersaurus. My neck is so long I can stretch it to nibble the tops of tall trees. I like to look down at my friends on the ground who barely reach up to my knees. See, I'm looking down at this tiny little friend. These are called Pteranodon. See the crest upon my head? It helps me when I glide. And the girls say it looks groovy as I swoop from side to side. This one down here is an Ichthyosaurus. I'm a swimming reptile. I dive down in the sea, and when I spot a yummy squid, I eat it up with glee. Next we have Stegosaurus. I am the stout Stegosaurus with two rows of plates down my back. I've also got spikes on the end of my tail, which I use when I'm under attack. He's got lots of spikes. Now this guy is called Giganotosaurus. I am enormous and fierce and strong. I live by the shores of the lake. There's a rumbling sound when I stomp on the ground and the earth starts to shudder and shake. I bet she is big. So now you've met the dinosaurs. What a fearsome bunch. Some of them would really like to eat you for their lunch. But some are not so scary. Some are gentle. Some are kind. If you tried to hug them, they probably wouldn't mind. But it's time to say goodbye now, and away we'll softly creep. Because even great big dinosaurs have to get some sleep. And that's the end of Dinosaurs Galore. All right, let's get going. Get your hands on your steering wheel because we're going to do wheels on the bus. On the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all round the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all round the town. The driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back. Move on back, the driver on the bus goes move on back all round the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all round the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 honk, 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 beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All around the town And the baby on the bus goes Wah, wah, wah Wah, wah, wah Wah, wah, wah Baby on the bus goes Wah, wah, wah All around the town Well, the parents on the bus go Shh, 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 parents on the bus go Shh, 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 All around the town
time for the story, How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? It's by Jean Yolen and Mark Teague, and it's with permission from Scholastic. How does a dinosaur act when he's mad? Uh-oh. Does he roar, slam the door, yell at mom or at dad? Oh gosh. When he can't get his way, does he boast, I'll be bad? Is that what dinosaurs say when they're mad? When Papa says no, does he grumble and pout? When Mama says no, does he throw toys about? Oh my, what a mess. When he's old to sit still, does he kick at a chair? Uh-oh, it looks like he drew on the wall. Does he act as if mother and father aren't there? Oh, he's ignoring them. When he hears, take a nap, does he give dirty looks? When he's told, quiet down, does he rip up his books? <gasps> Not the books. No cookies today? Fling a mug at the cat. Time for bed. Does he bang on the floor with his bat? Oh gosh, this is not good. No, a dinosaur doesn't. He counts up to 10. Then after a timeout, breathes calmly. And then he cleans up his mess and he picks up the mug. He says, I'm so sorry, and he gives a big hug. That sounds like the right thing to do. His anger is gone, so he opens the door. Not mad? I'm so glad, little dinosaur. That's some good advice on what to do when you're mad. Breathe calmly. Calm down and give a nice hug, just like a dinosaur. Wow, I wonder what it was like millions of years ago when there were dinosaurs really roaming the world. Oh man, what was that like?
what a shame. I guess we'll never know. Oh mm -hmm. well, oh well. Now let's read a story called Roar. Can everybody roar like a dinosaur? Roar. So this is called Roar by Todd H. Doodler. And we're reading it with permission by Scholastic. So, roar. Being a dinosaur is hard. I am bigger than every kid in my class. I'm bigger than my teachers too. I am even bigger than the school bus. That's silly, look at him. My desk does not fit. You see he's sitting on it, he can't sit in it because he's too big. My gym clothes do not fit. And I am not very good at hide and seek. Do you see him hiding? <laughs> he's not hiding very good because he's too big. Because I am big, some people think I am scary, but they're wrong. I am careful. I am helpful. See him helping the kids across the street? I have good table manners. Burp. I even say, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you say excuse me if you burp? And my smile is really something. Look at that beautiful smile and all those teeth. So what are people afraid of? Look, he, he says, roar to the lady. And she looks scared. And the mailman is scared. And this boy is scared. I think he scared the dog off. Roar to the school bus driver. He looks scared. Roar to the mom pushing the baby carriage. She's running off because she's scared. Oh, goodness. Here is a little secret. Roar means hello in dinosaur. Please tell all your friends. And being big can be a good thing. Look, he's good at baseball and basketball. I'm very good at sports. Looks like he's good at football too. I can find things when they get lost. And sometimes I hide things too. And I can be a lot of fun at recess. Does that look like fun sliding down his back? So if you meet a dinosaur, do not be scared. And remember, Roar means hello in dinosaur. Oh, and roar means goodbye too. The end. And that was roar. Can you put your five fingers up so we can do a song called Five Enormous Dinosaurs? Five enormous dinosaurs munching and crunching and hungry for more. One went Munching and crunching and hungry for more One went off, stomping the floor Now there's three enormous dinosaurs Stomp, 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 stomp Three enormous dinosaurs Munching and crunching and hungry for more One went off, stomping the floor Now there's two enormous dinosaurs Stomp, stomp, stomp Stomp, 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 stomp. Two enormous dinosaurs munching and crunching and hungry for more. One went off, 
stomping the floor. Now there's one enormous dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomp. One enormous dinosaur, munching and crunching and hungry for more. One went off, and there were no more, no more enormous dinosaurs. Stomp, 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 stomp. This book is called, If You Happen to Have a Dinosaur, and it's by Linda Bailey and Colin Jack, with permission by Penguin Random House. Let's go. If you happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room, and you don't know what to do with it, Maybe you could use it as a can opener. Look, he's opening some tomato soup. It would make a great coffee grinder too, or a nutcracker, or a potato masher. Oh my gosh, this poor little guy, what a mess. And if you need a burglar alarm, your dinosaur's just the thing. <gasps> I bet he regrets that decision. There are oodles of things you can do with a dinosaur. Try taking it into your yard. It will mow your lawn, trim your trees, blow your leaves, and dig you a garden in no time flat. Yes, a dinosaur is a handy any season of the year. On rainy days, it makes a fine umbrella. Oh, wow. In winter, it's a snow plow. Look how they kept the dinosaur warm with all these oven mitts and gloves. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. Your friends will line up to try your exciting new diving board. That looks fun. Just think of all the things your dinosaur can do. Does it have sharp teeth? You can use it to shred paper. It will also be a great excuse if you ever forget your homework. Burp. Looks like the dinosaur ate it. Some dinosaurs make wonderful babysitters, but not all dinosaurs are suited for this work. Some dinosaurs make excellent kites, but not all dinosaurs are suited for this work either. Mm, I don't think he's going to float anywhere. There are some things a dinosaur is just not good for at all. Do not ask your dinosaur to carry your picnic basket. Uh-oh, made it all up. Or push your grocery cart. He ate it all up. Or hold your popcorn bowl. What do you think happened? They ate it all up. If you study your dinosaur carefully, you'll be able to use it wisely. A small dinosaur will make a dandy pillow, or a footstool, or a bookmark. A tall dinosaur will clean your roof drains, wash your windows, and rescue your kitty lickety split. That's nice. Once you start using your dinosaur, you'll never want to stop. The possibilities are amazing. Looks like they're helping the whole neighborhood. And if you treat your dinosaur well, you will have it for a very long time. But what if you don't happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room? Not everybody does. What if you have an octopus instead, <gasps> or a porcupine, a penguin, a saber-tooth, a sasquatch, a dodo, a camel, 
or a kangaroo just lying around. What can you do with a kangaroo? Do you have any ideas? That was if you happen to have a dinosaur. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. That was so much fun, wasn't it? Oh my it? gosh, what a great time. Wow. Well, until next time.